King D back with another one. So we've done 10 ways women go wrong in dating. There are now. You chaps are thinking, what about us? Well, now it's your turn. Did you think old King D would forget about you now, did you? Now I will start this video by saying the reason why I know all these things is because I've made all these mistakes before. I've done them all plenty of times. And I will say, don't beat yourself up. You've been sold a lie and you've been programmed with every rom-com you've ever seen that being a nice guy is going to win the lady. Ladies. But it's a load of bollocks. So stick with King D and we'll reprogram you. So you want to learn how to get the girl. Do you now? And you need someone with the experience and the know-how to tell you. Well, I'm your Huckleberry. So let's get into it then, shall we? Number one. Stop listening to women. What they say they want and what they actually want are two very different things. I want a nice guy that's there for me all the time and is there to talk to me and all these nice things. Meanwhile, she's getting a back blown out by Chad who's fucking known for slinging dick left, right and centre. Actually, I like a dad bod. Dear duck. Now, I've had a dad bod and I've had a fit bod. And I can tell you right now, they don't want a dad bod. And the reason why they tell you they do is because they're virtue signalling. Now, what is virtue signalling? Well, that's when they're trying to look good, so they're saying things like that. So they don't appear shallow. So you're telling me that a man with big muscles and all that, I mean, look at any list of top 10 sexiest men. They've all got six packs. Think about it now. Really think about it. It's biology. You think back to way back when, they want a big strong man with big muscles to keep them safe and protect them. Now I know the modern world is pretty safe and they don't need a man now to protect them the way they did thousands of years ago. But, do you really think that the modern world is going to change deep-rooted instinct overnight? I don't think so. Number two. Stop putting her on a pedestal. She ain't special. Now if it helps, picture her sat on a bog, curling out. A big steaming pile of turd. Doesn't seem so majestic now, does she? Well, just for your information, she has an arsehole and a digestive system, just like you. Which means she's had a big poo. Three. Get off the dating apps. Unless you're in that top 10% of men, all you're going to do is give yourself some drama. It's going to kill your self-esteem because they're all aiming up. So, if you're an average Joe, average Jane, she's not fucking interested. I mean, you might get lucky once in a blue moon, but it's not worth the hassle and all the rejections to get there. By that stage, for most of you, until you're working on yourself, you're going to get rejected a lot. And that's going to break you down. Which brings me to... Take a long hard look at yourself in the mirror. Now do you like what you see? No? Then why would she? Work on yourself. And believe you me, you can be a far better you than you are now. You might not think it, but you can. Number five. Laying all your cards on the table. Think of a film now, yeah? It's a thriller. Plot twists and turns here, there and everywhere. You don't know what's going to happen. It's crazy. Well, you imagine the same film that you've never seen before. And before you sit down and press play, I'm there. And I'm going to ruin it for you. I'm going to tell you the whole plot. Word by word. Tell you the plot. And I'm going to tell you the ending as well. I'm going to spoil it all. Well... Suddenly you're not going to be as excited about this film. You're not quite going to be on the edge of your seat like you was before. So when you're laying all the cards on the table and you're telling her everything, 
She's not going to be as interested now, is she? Where's the excitement gone? You've killed it. Think about it. Number six. You are too available. Don't make her your top priority. If you're going to drop everything at the fucking drop of a hat every time she fucking text you or anything like that just to text her back or just to see her well what's that telling her well that's telling her you've got nothing going on in your life and that you are desperate for her and desperation was never attractive if you want to stimulate her be a challenge stop being there all the time number seven porn and only fans come on boys right the porn Fair enough. I don't know a bloke who's never done it. But it's ruining your head. It is ruining your head. Think of it this way. You're rubbing one out to another bloke doing a woman that you can't do. That is destroying your self-esteem. And not only that, it's just warping your sense of women. It really is. It is messing your head up completely. Just stay away from it. Trust me, and you will thank me later. Now, OnlyFans, I mean, the fact that this thing exists just goes to show that we have a crisis amongst men. Now, you must be seriously lonely if you're paying women that you don't know for that fake, it's not even real, fake connection. Get off it. Get off it. It is destroying you. You're paying for a bit of attention. You're paying out your hard earned money for some tart to, and I think they can text, can't you? Text you? It's not real. What are you doing? Get off. You're better than that. Eight. Stop getting emotional. She's looking for a strong man. I'm talking back to the biology and the evolution. So it's a strong man that's in his centre, no one's going to sway him or upset him and he's someone that she can rely on that is going to be there for her, that strong rock but if you're going to get emotional over the slightest thing say if she tests you, which we've covered before slightly and you're going to get emotional, well you're going to think find somebody else Number 9 you have a scarcity mindset. And what that means is, as soon as you get a sniff of attention off one woman... Oh my god, she's the one. Somebody giving me attention. It's like the second you get that bit of attention, you lose your mind. You get all excited and you're trying really, really hard to make her happy and entertain her. Calm your tits. And maybe you might be one of them lads that let her disrespect you as well. Because who else would have you? Now if you're acting like you haven't got any other options you're not going to look very valuable in her eyes. The power of being able to walk away at any time cannot be overlooked. If she's disrespecting you so long look you've lost out. Goodbye and you just disappear. Now all of a sudden Gone. Yeah, although she's severely dis uh, disrespected you, been her off all If she comes back, no doubt, no. I'm alright. And I don't care how hot she is either, if she disrespects you, you let her go. And you walk away. And if she knows you're willing to walk away at the drop of a hat, if she's playing about, She's going to be A for you. If she knows that you can replace her tomorrow, she's going to be a good girl for you. Also, bear in mind the uh, concept of pre-selection. And this is, if loads of other women want you, well, your value has gone like that to her. Because if she sees other people want you... Oh, you must be valuable. And now, if you don't believe me on this one, let's look at Tom Hardy, the actor. Right now, status aside, because obviously he's got a lot of status. He's an actor. Well, say he worked at KFC, right? And as good-looking as he is, he's a good-looking guy, but he ain't that special. 
And if he worked at KFC and he's walking down the street, I tell you now, there's not many gonna turn their heads. They ain't gonna look twice. He's just a regular bloke, pretty good looking, walking down the street. Well, because he's on the telly, and they all know him, they're like, oh, he's nice, and then they all say it, and then all of a sudden, oh, yeah, I want him. Like lemmings. Number 10. Letter B. Now, there's two sides to this. Now, if you're smothering her, you can't leave her alone, and you're controlling. Pack it up, you insecure bitch. She's not your property, and you don't own her. Let her be. Or, let's just say you can't calm your tits. You get too excited by her, and you can't stop texting her. You are fucking yourself right up. Attraction is created in space. Attraction is created in space. You need to create space. If you're around her all the time, she's going to get bored of you. Or worse yet, she's going to get sick of you. And texting is one of the biggest killers of attraction that I've ever known. And there will definitely be a separate video on that one. And I get it. You miss her. You want to know how she's doing. Good for you. I don't know how you do. But moderation, boys. Moderation. Texting, really. You just want to be arranged and getting to, getting to see her. Yeah? The odd text here and there. Fine. And be fun as well. How are you? You're not a doctor. Come on. Do better. You've got to give a chance to miss you. She needs to miss you. She needs to wonder about you. The whole mystery of it all. Now she's wondering in her head, what's he up to? Why is he not texting me? Is he seeing somebody else? What is he doing? Yeah? And while you're not talking to her, now you've got things to talk about when you do talk to her. If you text her every little thing you've done in that day, you're going to have nothing to talk about, are you? So let her be. And by letting her be, you're showing you're confident that you haven't got to keep tabs on her all the time. You know, I'm sad. She ain't going to do any better than this. She ain't doing better than King D, Duke. Let me tell you. Now oh, use me as an example. Because you've got to make sure you've got things going on. If you're constantly texting her, she's thinking, what a boring twat. He's got nothing going on in his life. And all he can do is text me all day. So getting back to my life, if I'm not at work, at the gym, earning, building a body, socialising, having fun with my friends. I'm doing this, which is hours and hours and hours of work. I'll finish this now, and then I've got to edit it all. That's going to take hours. And then I've got to post it and all this, that and the other. And I'll tell you now, I haven't got time to text a woman all day. I'm building something big. I haven't got time to sit there all day on my phone. And you need to too. So find your thing. Find your purpose. Which we will get on at some point. And go do it. Stop putting her on the top. She's not priority. Give her some space. Now that'll do from me now anyway. I think that's enough. We like 10 as a number. I can guarantee there's about another 50 more. And we will cover them in more videos, so stay tuned and subscribe so you don't miss them. And like the video, drop us a comment. Maybe you've got some uh, ideas yourself, things you've done wrong that's totally turned a woman off. Let's hear them. And ladies, ladies, you can drop a message down below and all. Let us know what's turned you off. And, uh, yeah. That'll do. So, be the best you and do it for you. Cheers.